Okay guys, round two of the zone videos. So we're just gonna kind of get into some things you can do if uh, you're kind of struggling to lose weight or something like that. So before we get into that, we talked about how we do it in the first video. Um, if you feel like you're still hungry, you're not eating enough blocks. So let's take the dude who was the example before, 200 pound male, he's eating 16 blocks. Um, if you're eating fruits and veggies and you're still hungry, then what we would do is we assess every two weeks. Every two weeks we assess. We don't assess after three days, right? We don't give it that short amount of window. We want at least a two-week window. If you've been eating fruits and veggies for two weeks and you're still starving, then yes, up it, up it by you know one block. Assess another two weeks. Are you still hungry? Okay, up it by you know two blocks instead of one, and so on and so forth. Um, so that way, you know, maybe he's assessed after four weeks and he's added two blocks, and so now he's at 18 blocks, and now he's perfectly. Um, Fine, he's not hungry, that's kind of what we want. So, that's what we want to think of, so that's the first thing. Next thing we're gonna get into uh, with the zone. So, your block measurement, right? Let's take the 200 pound dude that has 16 blocks. That is what we would call the baseline, right? Meaning this is where he starts from, and you experiment from there. So everyone is different. Some people do better on more carbs and less fat, some people do better on less carbs and more fat. Some people maybe do better on more protein, less carbs, less fat, who knows, right? Um, this is part of the experiment with the zone that people kind of just don't take for uh, into account. They kind of just think, oh, it's 16 no matter what, and if it doesn't work for me, then screw it. So here's what we want to think of, is the zone is your baseline, your number. So if we take that, take that dude who has 16 blocks, so we have 16 protein, 16 carbs, 16 fat that he eats each day. One thing we can do if you feel like you've been doing the 16, let's say you're four weeks into the challenge or something like that, or maybe it's after the challenge, right? You want to lose some more weight, whatever it is, and you feel like you're still struggling, um, you're not losing some weight. What we can do for weight loss right here is you can take away a carb and you can add in three blocks of fat. As far as like calorically, this is pretty even, so this is why we do it. Um, and this is throughout the entire day. This is not per meal, this is the entire day. For example, if, he, if he's eating 16 blocks a day, if he was to do this weight loss, all it would look like is 16 protein. He's gonna take away a carb, so it's gonna be 15 carbs per day. And then he's gonna add three fats, so it's gonna be 19 blocks of fat. And that's what he's gonna have per day. That's gonna be his prescription per day. And then what he's gonna do is the same thing we've talked about. He's gonna assess every two weeks. If he's eating like this, um, legitly, like all the time. When we say assess, we don't mean you've just eaten like this a couple times and after two weeks you've not seen anything. It means you're consistent with eating this. This is consistency, and that's not happening, then you can do it again. Um, the thing to remember with weight loss is it's dangerous to underfeed and overfeed any organism, right? And we are an organism. So at some point, if you do weight loss, you may be feeling great, right? Let's say this is not making you feel awesome, and then at some point if you do it, you're just gonna tank and you're gonna collapse. And you're gonna be tired, you're not gonna see results, you're not gonna have any energy at the gym, stuff like that. And if we struggle like that, that's when we go back to the baseline, right? If, let's say this dude, for example, was at 200 pounds and he wanted to lose a little bit of weight, and he lost, let's say, 10 pounds, and then he just kept trying to lose it, and then let's say he got to losing 15 pounds and he just bonked, then he would just go back to the baseline. He would go back to 16, 16, 16, and he would eat there for a few weeks and then he would assess, okay, do I need to do weight loss again? Am I fine with the 16 now? I can maintain this, whatever the case may be. So that's just something to think about is that the zone is your baseline. Now, when we're eating like we are, right, most people are probably gonna stay even Steven. You're always gonna stay at 16, 16, 16. You're not really gonna play around with this too much. But it may be beneficial if you're seeing results and let's say you've done this for over eight weeks to play around with something or maybe you're four weeks in the challenge and you feel like you're not seeing enough even though you're eating super clean, then maybe it's okay to try something like this, but just keep in mind that there's a fine line between this is gonna keep you consistent and this is too dangerous to maintain, right? And that's when we would go back to the baseline, which would just be the normal 16, 16, 16. So this is something that you guys can do, um, you can play around with, and all it is is just experimenting, right? You need to find out what's work, gonna work best for you. Like we said, not everyone's the same. Some people will be fine with 16 across the board. Some people need to switch it up like this. Some people maybe just need to stay 16, 16, and then up the fats a lot, whatever the case may be. But this is kind of why we do nutrition stuff, is to find what's gonna work for you and what you can maintain throughout years, not just for eight weeks and then you bump. So there you go, that's just something to kind of help you guys.